What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, MJ Capital. Many investors, including some subscribers, are wondering if they should be holding Sundial or even adding to Sundial through the upcoming reverse split. So in this video, I'm gonna clearly lay out both sides of the argument to help with your decision. And full disclosure, for the record, I am holding and adding to lower my cost basis. Organized and to the point, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with the argument to sell before the reverse split. Number one, the reverse split is not coming with improving financials. And without improving financials, the news of the reverse split will signal that the company is in distress. And so it may be seen as a smokescreen, so the price will not stick and the shorts will take it down. Unfortunately, Sundial will not have the chance to demonstrate that financials are improving prior to the reverse split. Number two, history is not on Sundial's side. More often than not, the share price trends down after a reverse split. And reason number three, you cannot ignore the fact that investors are taking a risk-off approach this summer so far until peak inflation has been confirmed and a mild recession in 2023 has been rolled out. As many analysts are predicting, so blanket selling is occurring regardless of the upcoming reverse split. Okay, let's move on to the arguments to either be holding or even adding to Sundial prior to the reverse split. And a quick reminder that the market cap does not change or even the value of your total shares during the reverse split. Argument number one, although the reverse split is not coming with proven financials, it is coming with a clear strategy and structural changes. And other than financials, it's one of the first two things investors do consider after a reverse split has occurred. And in this case, they're going to see that Sundial is now diversified and has broader operations. In fact, they could even be considered more of a liquor company than a cannabis company now. Number two, the reverse split is likely to occur around the same time of a potentially huge catalyst. Number one, releasing the Q2 financials. It's no secret that Q1 net revenue increased 78% from year prior. And that only included one day of Alcana's revenue of $1.3 not counted was the 162.5 million. So Q2 revenue is likely going to be massive compared to year prior. Also, shorts are going to have to deal with the fact that gross margins are likely going to improve. Alcana's was 24%. And more importantly, EBITDA could turn positive for the first time. It was only a $0.7 million loss in Q1. So if that turns positive, watch out for a huge rally. Next catalyst, Senate decriminalization bill. Now this seems to be a political grab. Both parties want it to be their bill. And with elections coming up and the uncertainty around global events easing, could set the stage for the cannabis discussions to ramp up. And so it may give Schumer an extra incentive to pass it as promised before Congress goes on break early August. And as I said in my previous videos, my best guess is August 5th. And the last catalyst, passing of the Safe Banking Act. This one is not as exciting, but if it does pass, it's going to set the stage for inevitable legalization. Okay, back to the arguments. Number three, not all, but likely a majority of the reverse split is already priced in as most investors are now expecting it. And at this point, it's old news. Number four, it's going to eliminate delisting worries. Bigger investors now can come to the table with a share price above a dollar. And last, the upcoming Q&A, June 7th through the 10th. The possibility of hinting they may authorize share buybacks. From my point of view, unlikely to happen. However, what's important is the confidence shown by authorizing. And speaking of confidence, it's a chance to reassure investors prior to the reverse split. And to summarize, here are the arguments clearly laid out for you. And as promised, organized and to the point, I know your time is valuable. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like these. Until then, have a great rest of your day and I'll be talking to you very soon. Take care.